Hi students. Ete din var da kaj uči, ne? Hau. Tamar to dekhu jo corona pani mrtan prat dimas bolia chuti jo. Dimas bolia amro patra derje starta ho. Sejtve ame aji kong kari ba? Aji gude mu sejtve video shooting kari tamar ko photo uči. ये जो टॉपिक तमु स्टार्ट करो ची मॉलिक्यूलर बेसिस ऑफ इनरिटेंस इटा बायो मॉलिक्यूल सही तो लिंक है ची बायो मॉलिक्यूल्स वो बोटी टॉपिक जब तम पढ़े थे लव न्यूक्लिक ऐसे टॉपिक टा पढ़े थे लव तल मॉलिक्यूलर बेसिस ऑफ इनरिटेंस टा में स्टार्ट करते रहा सही तो मुझे मुझे कोई ची फर्स्ट इनरिट मो मॉलिक्यूलर बेसिस तो गुटे असाइनमेंट मां गुटे मटेरियल दिए नो ऊपर टॉपिक पे तो मुंगो मटेरियल तो पढ़े दीच अनाउंसमेंट तो पढ़े दी तो हम तो डाउनलोड कोई देख पेरी वो अम्म आज ही स्टार्ट स्टार्ट करी बा डीएनए टा कौन व्हाट इज डीएनए तो मैं इलेवेंथ रे पढ़ी जो डीएनए इज ए पॉलीमर what is nucleotide? Take a recall corridor which is called Hitler. Nucleotide is a compound consisting of open tooth sugar, or nitrogenous base. And of phosphate. These three things joined with each other to form a nucleotide. Polymer of this nucleotide form nucleic acids. So first we will start from pentose sugar. Which type of pentose sugar present in nucleic acid? That is ribose sugar. It is having five carbon atom. The ribose sugar present in nucleic acids is in beta form. This OH group present above and H below at the first carbon. Hence, it is in beta form. This is the first carbon, this is the second carbon, this is the third carbon, this is the fourth carbon, this is the fifth carbon, which is the sugar and is known as ribose sugar. Another type of pentose sugar present in the nucleus is also, see what is the difference between these two sugars, which is, which is, which is, HCS to H. The difference is here. The difference is here. At the second carbon atom. So this is known as two prime DX ribose. Second carbon kept pass D means devoid. Devoid of what? Devoid of oxygen at second carbon of ribose sugar. Hence, known as two prime DX ribose sugar. The nucleic acid having ribose sugar is called ribose nucleic acid or RNA. The nucleic acid having DX ribose sugar is called DX ribose nucleic acid or DNA. Some nucleic acids are named as RNA and DNA on the basis of sugar present in them. Similarly, the nucleotides The nucleotides having ribose sugar is called ribonucleotide. 
the nucleotides having deoxyribose sugar is called deoxyribonucleotides. And you know, polymer of deoxyribonucleotide is DNA. Similarly, polymer of ribonucleotides is RNA. Each. So this is about your sugar present in nucleic acids and nucleotides. The sugar is of two types, ribose sugar and DX ribose sugar. Accordingly, the nucleotides are of two types, ribonucleotides or DX ribonucleotides. Polymer of ribonucleotide is RNA. Polymer of DX ribonucleotide is DNA. Or nucleic acids are of two types depending upon the sugar, RNA and DNA. That is ribose sugar and DX ribose sugar. Then we will go to the nitrogenous bases. The nitrogenous bases are nitrogen containing compounds are of two types. This is purine nitrogenous base. This is pyrimidine nitrogenous base. You will number this compound like this. This is first, this is second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, and nine. This is first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. This is purine nitrogenous base. This is pyrimidine nitrogenous base. Purine nitrogenous base are of two types. One is RA9, second one is guanine. This is what, what I am teaching here. This is the revision of 11th actually. This is 6 amino purine. 6 amino. Purine, this is 2 amino, 6 oxy purine. You can draw the diagram also. Uracil is a pyrimidine that is 2,4 dioxy pyrimidine. This is uracil and this is thymine, T H Y M I N, thymine 2, 4, dioxy, 5 methyl, pyrimidine. And the last one is uh, cytosine, that is 2 oxy. 4 amino pyrimidine. Then you have to individually draw the diagram of all these nitrogenous bases. Two purines are there like this one purine, this is second purine. You have to practice these diagrams. Then three pyrimidines are there. One pyrimidine, second pyrimidine, third pyrimidine, this is six amino purine. You can do it on another color that is red one. This is six amino. Purine, this is 2 amino, 6 oxypurine, this is 2, 4 dioxypyrimidine, this is 2, 4 dioxypyrimidine, this is 2 oxy, 4 amino, pyrimidine. this is adenine, 
this is guanine, this is uracil, this is thymine, this is cyclosine. These are all four nitrogenous bases. Then when you will add the nitrogenous bases with sugars, we will find the nucleosides. This is nitrogenous bases. This is your sugar. What is this bond? That is N glycosidic bond. And this structure is a TLP nucleoside. The nucleosides are named according to the nitrogen basis. You can add RNA, guanine, cytosine, thymine, or uracil here. Accordingly, you can get adenosine if RNA is attached, guanosine, cytidine. Thymidine, uridine, you can draw all these diagrams on your own. Adenosine, guanosine, cytidine, thymidine, uridine, all these are nucleosides. Nucleosides. The nucleosides can convert into nucleotides like this. By the addition of phosphate. This is a nucleoside. Here CH2OH is there. Here you can add the phosphate here. Water will be removed from this place. I'm removing the water here. Then the phosphate is at, will be attached to the fifth carbon. This is phosphoester bond. This is phosphoester bond. And this is N glycosidic bond. And this is the structure of a nucleotide. This is what? Phosphate. This is ester. This is nucleoside. This is phosphoryl ester of nucleoside is called nucleotide the definition is phosphoryl ester of nucleoside is called nucleotide the nucleotides are also named according to the nitrogenous bases present here suppose the RNA, nitrogen basis is adenine then it is called adenylic acid adenylic Acid. This is guanine, suppose guanylic acid. These are all nucleo nucleotides. This is nitrogenous base. Suppose this is cytosine, this is called cytidylic acid. Cytidylic acid. This is thymine, thymidylic acid. Thymidylic acid. Acid. This is uracil, uridylic acid. Uridylic acid, these are all nucleotides. Suppose here it is a nucleotide. Here RNA is attached here. Then what it is called? That is called adenosine. And one phosphate if will be attached here. So adenylic acid or adenosine monophosphate. If a second phosphate will be attached here. This is called adenine, adenosine diphosphate. If a third phosphate will be attached here, this is called adenosine triphosphate ATP. This is adenosine triphosphate, and this bond is known as phosphoester bond. And these two bonds are called phosphoanhydride bond. Phosphoanhydride bond. This is alpha phosphate. This is beta phosphate. This is gamma phosphate. And these two bonds between alpha and beta or beta and gamma are called phosphoanhydride bond or high energy phosphate bond. High energy phosphate bond. Now, in these two bonds, high energy is stored, hence called energy currency of our cell. And this first bond between the fifth carbon of the sugar and the alpha phosphate is known as phosphoester bond. 
we will discuss on this bond later on so this is a nucleotide or ntp nucleoside triphosphate ntp of full form nucleoside triphosphate so you do practice on these nucleotides then in the second class i will teach about how these nucleotides will polymer with each other to form nucleic acids and different forms of nucleic acids thank you